Hello everyone, Swedish Viking here and today I'm bringing you a tutorial on how to use the CC lens. Uh, I'm going to show you how you use it to match your gunshot. Uh, there are very uh, many other uh, wide ranges of use for the CC lens but today I'm only going to show you the gunshot one. So you just go in, import your clip drag it onto a comp uh, and then you just pull it forward a bit to get, get rid of the black things uh, hit, hit S to bring down the scale so you get rid of those black edges and then move forward to the gunshot so I believe the gunshot I'm looking for is right about okay we take this shot here that would be pretty good I think like that you find your shot uh, search up CC lens drag it onto your clip and there you have your CC lens um, but you don't you don't want it to be black around the CC lens when it it's animating and stuff like that so you just duplicate layer by hitting control D uh, taking the bottom one and deleting the CC lens like that so now you can uh, hit the keyframe button to signal where you want it to start bring the size down and if you like you can move it uh, to if you just put it on so we can still see it take the center and put it right in the muzzle flare like that, or maybe just a little bit over it. That would be that would be pretty good. And then you just put it zero. Move forward about there, maybe, and drag it up to a hundred. And sometimes people want to have the warping around the sides here, so then you just can leave it at about four hundred and fifty or something like that to keep it a bit warped. So that creates nice CC lens effect. So if we preview with that, hit B and hit N, now we can preview it. So already there you can see it's a pretty good effect. And I just need to lower the sound a bit on my After Effects. Like that, I believe is good. Let's try it again. I don't want to blow your head off. That's better. There you can see it. He shoots and there comes a, almost a, like a ripple from the gun. So that is basically the CC effect, the CC lens. You, you can use it to do other stuff as well. Uh, maybe you want to do a transition or just smoothen out another transition like, or you just want to smoothen out your transition or something like that. So that's completely up to you. So this has been a pretty short tutorial but I hope you guys learned something from it. So uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, whatever you like. And I'll see you guys next time.